Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I've decided, regardless, I've just, I keep being wishy-washy about it, we're going to Moonrise. We're at least gonna go do, like, the outer area of Moonrise. But first, uh, I want to do a long rest before we do that and switch out some people and get some inventory stuff figured out. Do you out. know what happens when a devil is struck down on this charming plane oh, no. of existence? Hi, Raphael! It returns to the hells. To the very point where it last stood before venturing to whichever devil forsaken plane it died on. In the case of our friend Yergir, the Orthon you so handily dispatched in the Temple of Shah, he manifested in my house of hope. You're welcome. He returned to me chastened but intact. His wounds healed, his body restored. He thought I would dismember him. But he has his uses. So instead, I am re-educating him. Yeah? We delivered the devil. Now I want what I'm owed. We had a deal. Indeed we did. I discovered all there is to know about those scars of yours. It's a rather grim tale. <laughs> Even for my okay. taste. Okay. Uh, stop stalling. As you wish. Brace yourself, Astarian. We're about to unveil your destiny. Oh, okay. Carved into that ivory skin of yours is one part of an infernal contract between the archdevil Mephistopheles oh. and your former master, Kazador Zar. In full, the contract states that Kazador will be granted knowledge of an infernal ritual so vile it has never been performed. What? The rite of profane More ascending! Ascension. Everybody's trying to ascend! It promises to be a marvelous ceremony. Very elaborate, incredibly ancient, and entirely diabolical. He's enjoying this. If he completes the rite, he will become a new kind of being, the Vampire Ascendant. All the strengths of his vampiric form will be amplified, and alongside them he will enjoy the luxuries of the living. The arousals and appetites of men <laughs> will return to him, and unlike Astarian, he will have no need of a parasite to protect him from the sun. He's enjoying this so much. But the ritual has its price. As all worthwhile things do, Lord Gazador will need to sacrifice a number of souls, including all of his vampiric spawn, if he is to ascend. Imagine how he felt then, when one of those precious spawns simply disappeared into thin. I'm surprised he hasn't found us. The only missing ingredient is a starion. You are the final piece he requires to complete the ritual. Your scars bind you to it. Your soul will set off a very wave of death, bringing Cazador his twisted life. And that, my tragic and toothsome, toothsome friend, friend are... is that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business elsewhere. Okay. Thanks for that. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. I guess it was a piece of crap. Hmm. I kind of want to say that it is it's a little unsettling but I don't want to here hang on I don't want to lose any more favor than I I've already lost I think I've, my net gain is negative right now after everything we did so I actually had a hint of this in a in another game I was playing I don't know if I've mentioned it but my friend is actually on really good terms with Asterian and she had a cutscene with him where she's actually a tiefling and so she reads some infernal and was able to figure out that it looked like some sort of like partial contract of sort and so I was like okay that's why I was like, that wasn't super which I was surprised I was like I didn't even, like I haven't had that cutscene and she's like he has to like you I'm like that explains it <laughs> that 
Lions it. Because he's supposed to be like, he's like, the thing is, it's, it's funny because he's like in camp with his shirt off and he's like trying to look at his back, you know, because he also he can't see a reflection, right? And so, like, he's trying to look at his back just from like, you know, I don't know. He's try- we're trying to feel it. That's what he's trying to do. And and then you, like, the character walks up and he's like, oh, excuse me, like, all mad that you're walking up on him, like, while his scars are out. And he's like, I'm like, you're the one in the middle of camp turtling around with your shirt off. Like, excuse me. Like, don't get mad. But then, you know, she, they, you only get that cutscene if you know him. Like, he likes you well. He trusts you. Because then he asks you. And she just happened to be a tiefling, so she did know some Infernal. Um... I do. Okay, hmm, that's all you have to say? I was contemplating. It's a lot to take in. Yeah, being a part of an infernal ritual. What do you think I should do? Why are you asking me? You don't like me. Uh. There's a way to become a living vampire. That must mean a lot to you. That is an interesting way. Okay, that's an idea where Asterion potentially wants to turn this around and use it himself, but it requires some big bad no-nos. Like, <clears throat> also, he was, I don't know, I think he said it in this game, it might have been another game I'm playing with a friend, but um, he is worried about his siblings, essentially, the like five others or whatever that are also spawn. Uh, no, we shouldn't run. Yeah, you'll never be free while Cazador lives. Like, we need to kill Cazador. Not only because, you know, he could unleash terrible horrors, but it's like, yeah. Like, I hope it's not mean. I just, I'm like, truly, you'll never be free while Cazador lives. I hate how right you are. I knew he wouldn't leave me alone, even when I was just another wretched toy for him to play with. But if I'm the key to this power he craves, he'll hunt me to the ends of I'm fame. surprised we haven't seen anything of him. <sighs> I need to take the fight to Like him. minions. And I need you to help well, me. Well, of course. Yeah. I, I will hunt him down and kill him. Oh, not a chance. Um, we hunt him down and kill him. If he comes for you, I'll defend you. Yeah. No, she's definitely like, oh yeah. Like, this is also, like, not only is Asterion at risk, like, a lot of things are at risk. Like, and other people to be sacrificed and, like, waves of death and, like, a... A vampire god? Like, no thank you, you know? Of course I'll help, we'll hunt him down and kill him. Yay. Thank you. Yay. Let's see, I probably have, like, still not very good. Approval is neutral. Woo, okay, at least we're neutral. We're working our way up to maybe good. I think we're, stu- we're, we're definitely at the bottom of neutral is where we're at. Oh, what about... Even good. Okay, so we kind of in the like the greenish yellow is good. <laughs> so far, <gasps> we're so far from that. Uh, okay. Uh, anybody have anything else to say? I was wondering if he was gonna, if if Raphael was gonna show up in some way. I was curious too what it would look like uh, camping in in the temple of Salute or uh, Shar. My bad. Or my bad. Okay. Oh, also, so the reason I'm headcanoning we're going to Moonrise after being in the Temple of Shar, I just feel like, this is my headcanon, is that she's, like, feeling this gradual, like, pressure of, like, something is wrong. Like, we have spent far too long doing these other things. Like, there are people that we care about. There's, like, the tieflings and stuff like that and other people who have been captured. Will's dad. Like, they're all at Moonrise. Like, I feel like she would be getting this pressure gradually more and more and more of, like, we need to go. You know, like we need to go do something for them. I need a moment for the two of us. I can't imagine how a star yeah. must be feeling. And the terms of your own condemnation carved into your skin. Monsters' actions. And monsters do not deserve such power as that ritual promised. When the time comes, Astarian will have his revenge, I'm sure. And it will be richly deserved. But not yet. So. What can I do for you? I also turned uh, Gale down in another one of my games uh, where I'm trying to romance Will. I think it was. No, I was just, that character's going after anybody and anything, but Will was the one that I happened to have more of a rapport with. And so 
Uh, I had like a fun little cutscene with Will that was so sweet and so pining. It was so great. I actually really loved it. Um, and I, <laughs> Gail's like, I had another, and it was almost harder to turn him down with Will than it was with Carlock. Like just, he was so forlorn. And I was like, I'm sorry. One of these days I will romance you. It seems like Cazador used Astarian's flesh not as a canvas, but as a contract. We haven't heard the last of this, I'll wager. I love that we are, um, all that everybody overheard, you know? It's just everyone's like, boop, boop, boop. Oathbreaker, don't hang out next to Will. Oakfather preserve. All right, so you don't have any opinion. Um... Bye-bye. Oh, also, you guys, I totally forgot until just now. I... Hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta... <laughs> okay. So, my friend was looking up the other day for something, and we found out... Like, we're trying to figure... Okay, here's what we're trying to... We're trying to figure out who's okay with sharing, right? Like, we were trying to figure out which of the characters is all right with sharing you with somebody else. Um, and so usually I'm monogamous in these games, uh, however, because usually you kind of have to be, but you should just pick one anyway and go for that one. Uh, however, my necromancer is a little hoe, and so he, <laughs> he wants to date everybody. So we were looking this stuff up, and it turns out, it turns out that the only person, and she found this coincidentally, we were looking up for somebody else, um... Carlac, the only person Carlac is willing to share you with is Halson. Which, pew, 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 like, listen, you guys know, I've been, I've been eyeing Halson, and I've been trying, I'm like, okay, no, no, not in this game, not in this game, in another game, I'll romance Halson. I gotta stay with Carlac. But listen, you guys know that I've been eyeing Halson. And, uh, but I'm like, oh, but I love Carlac. But here's the thing, is that my character <laughs> and me, we love both of them in their own ways. But the way I was like, I was like, I was popping off. I was like, my, I was like, oh my gosh, friend. Like, you know how I've already said that my, my Oathbreaker Paladin, right? She was a nature Paladin, so she's like feeling like these like weird, like, like not weird, but like complicated feelings for both Halson and Carlac, because Carlac's wild heart barbarian, kind of a nature-based barbarian. And freaking, you know, Halson's a freaking druid, you know? And so she broke that nature oath, but she still has like ties, like, you know, those red strings almost like tying her up inside with it, you know? And complicated feelings about it. So like every time, especially she approaches Halson, there's this like, you know, like almost like desire to touch that like former divinity almost that she was once in contact with, but like also this like pain of like knowing she can't have that anymore. So I feel like it would be like a really, it's not gonna show in the game, but it would be a really interesting complicated relationship to have, especially if Carlac's willing to share, because if she wasn't, I was gonna be like, okay, 100% Carlac, but now I, I'm not even saying it very well. When I was with my friend, I was popping off, but I was just like, this is, it's it's like it was written for me. It was too perfect, it was written for this, not me, for this particular character that I have crafted. And like, I'm, I'm so, oh, I'm so tempted to try to see if I can, if I can get that route going because, oh my gosh. Like, it, the headcanon, the headcanon was writing itself. I was, like, stumbling over my words. I was like, this is perfect. It's like this pull between, like, these two different people that she, you know, loves in, like, different ways. Or, like, at least is attracted to in different ways, right? And, like, in, like, a, you know, like... She has like a like a comrade relationship with all of the with all of them, but like she loves Croc, but there's like a part of her that's like house it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop, but I am I'm gonna hmm I am going to save the game. Um and I'm just gonna put house in question mark and I'm gonna see if I can't initiate something. House in question mark Oh, can't do question mark. Question Mark. Yep. So, after all that explanation, let's see. I don't even know. Like, I might not even have the option. I know I've kind of been, like, avoiding those options because a part of me was like, I don't want to necessarily, like, totally throw it out the window or be rude. Like, sometimes it feels like you're rude when you're like, no, you know? So, let's see. Oakfall the let's see. I feel like I haven't gotten to know you properly yet. 
What would you like to know? Let's see. Oh, no. Okay. Anytime. I may have already screwed myself over. Uh... I've been unfair to you. Oh! I've had unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. But, honestly, you've surpassed even what? most. What? Okay, cool. Seems my faith was more than well-founded. Gosh dang it. I feel like I've probably lost... That whole explanation was probably for nothing. Honestly, I never thought... So, I'll remain... Oh, with you. okay. If you'll have me, that is. Only we... So do I. But one duty at a time. Nope, okay. I may have lost the option. Okay, it looks like... I tried to not get too spoilery on it. It looks like if you really want to instigate something with Halson, it has to be in Act 3 once you've list lifted the Shadow Curse. Um, I don't know. It looks like there's no way to actually like romance him in Act 2. Um, even though, like, I know there was, like, some flirty options, because he starts hitting on you, like, real fast once you get into the Shadowlands. And it's like, you're like, oh my gosh, like, you were just being super chill earlier, and now you're like, hello, like, the stars of the night sky, and you're like, what? You know? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but, uh, yes, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully I haven't totally locked that out. Um, because I want to try it. <laughs> Our very own vampire's the missing pawn in his master's deadly game. Now, how about we go and reverse Cazador's fortunes? I like that. We're gonna do that for sure. I've talked to these. Do you have anything else you want to say? But oh, I mean, Carlac -like over here, of course. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Bye. Yes. At least it's not like, oh, it's you again. You doing not you like playing with your hair? Good. <laughs> Wish I could say I was surprised about Cazador's pact. Where blood, death, and betrayal parade, you can bet your ass a devil is riding Grand Marshal. We're going to keep Astarin safe. On my life. Cazador won't touch Oh my you. gosh. <laughs> That's adorable. She's just, not even adorable. It's just so awesome on my life. Like, she just loves everybody. She just, she just. What's hiding here? She just wants everybody to be freaking happy. Okay, I think this is the squad I'm going in with. I'm not bringing Carlac because Halson and Will both have very vested interests in the. Moonrise and for Shadow Arts, just so helpful to have against the undead. And I think we're gonna probably encounter more of them. So that is, and I tried to equip everybody with these and stuff. I just gave Will a feat that lets him wear medium armor. Um, so he's hopefully gonna be a bit more survivable in fights. So yeah, I'm, I. Not and I switched my weapon out to the Cruel Sting, which I get extra bonuses for using as a drow. Um, and the other one would inflict like a penalty on the enemy as long as they weren't a construct or undead. Seeing as how we fight a lot of those, I'm like, hmm, I should switch that out sooner. But it, did, it was supposed to also give me like a 10 temporary health, but I think that's just not working right now in the area I'm in. So, but only on a critical hit, you know, so... Let's see, did everybody look super dumb? No, oh, I gave some people some new armor. Gall, it doesn't look super the greatest, honestly. Ooh, Will looks good. I did give Will a cloak. It actually looks super good on him. I really, I really like that on him. Oh, and it looks much better on him. Hmm. Uh, for now, I'm gonna keep him at this. It looks good. She betrayed her sister and ruined the balance of things. Imagine turning on those who love you for your own glory. Are you talking about so the lies you've been told about Saloon? I'm assuming they're lies. Who the frick knows? Let's get out of here. I believe we want to go to Wraithwind Town. 
Like, I just don't trust a lady who's like, mm, yeah, darkness. You know, like a goddess who's like, oh yeah, pain, love pain. Keep, keep, keep inflicting pain. I'm like, I don't, I don't know, I don't like that. <laughs> I have mentioned that I do think it, it, there is a, a world in which it makes sense for people. Like they want, like they want their pain to mean be. something, you know? Where am I going? Um, but, you know, personally, me, I'm like, mm -mm, nah. <laughs> okay. We were just outside, apparently, the, like, we just kind of walked past the waypoint for, um, All's well that ends. Moonrise, Not as bad but, as it could have. you know, we, we, I'm uh, sorry. We're we'll, close. We'll, uh, I can feel it. The absolute. His power is strong here. Well, I'm level eight. <laughs> I don't know if that's enough. Is her... Her thing looks silly. Find a way anyway, here we go. Friggin' heck. Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't just walk in the front doors. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Let's see if there's alternative. Does not look like there's alternative entrances. Hmm. Infiltrate Moonrise Tower. So can I maybe? Trying to think if I need to like cast a skies or anything on anyone. I mean, this feels really dumb to just walk in the front door, honestly. Ah, oh, front door it is. We are infiltrating. We can apparently chit chatty. Oh, swooping is bad. A ghoul? A, a what? All right, we uh, we chit chat. That's far enough. I want your armor. Deceive, deceive. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. I don't like it when parasites ah, purr. One blessed like myself. What news, true soul? Uh, oh, okay. We Gucci. That's right. We have that. Okay, for some reason. Wait, no. Yes, because I was like, oh, it's, they're taking some of the absolute people here, but those people aren't the prisoners necessarily. It's everybody else um little from the field what news inside mm. i'm here to take your head we just waltzed in we just waltz in and say um hmm, hmm. i'm trying to decide i don't think we want to fight our way through i think that would be bad bad news bears all right i feel like as a, as a semi-military person she'd know she'd, she'd she'd speak the speak you know little from the field what news inside General Kethrick's advisor went off on a field trip. Zarel's in charge till he gets back. You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Let's hope this Zarel likes what we have to say. Shh. 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 Uh. Oh, uh. Okay, we did it. It's risky oh. to enter Moonrise with an unwelcome companion. You can pass as a true soul, but they can. I was wondering. Be sure to keep them close, so you can speak on their behalf if the cultists ask too many questions. Oh, Halson! Is it Halson? Because the rest of us have parasites. Halson doesn't have a parasite. Hmm. Caution and vigilance should allow you to explore the tower escape. Steal yourself. And venture forth. Yes, indeed. Okie dokie. Uh, Okie dokie. Hmm. I wonder if I should, in, like, disguise him, but I don't think a disguise is gonna matter. What are you inspired about? Explore each key area of the Shadow Cursed Lands. Alright, well, you weirdo. Okay. Speak up. So, <sighs> uh -huh. yeah. barely alive by most standards, and still it bows to the absolute. Moon, they have a moon shield here. Oh no, okay, that, that's us. That's us having. Well, I was curious because there's like these lights. Oh, hey, look. Oh god, I don't know, I'm just going, man. I was just gonna go around and look over here real quick. 
Apparently there's a side door. No, oh, don't, absolutely not, absolutely not. Where do you guys think you're going? You're gonna go like a weird way. Just, just come over here. Why, they, are you guys okay? Come on. I believe. I, we've been through worse things than a tree root. Uh, quick save before you open doors. Let's go, yeah. Oh my goodness! That's one of those hyenas. There can be no doubt. This is the place. Oh, it is? This is where we'll discover the secret of the Do absolute. you say that when we just walk in any door in here? Dominated will. Okay, bottom to me. These are just names they've given. A moment, true soul. You use a spoon to serve the soup, Barnabas. Forget the axe, my darling. Now, how can I help? Trying you? to make them do things that they're not designed to do. Never seen a tame knoll before. Soft and sweet as pudding, isn't he? No, you're psycho. He no longer remembers his life in the wild. He will. That is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her to rewrite the lives of her faithful. Uh, make them believe there's something better. She's very pretty. Um, uh, you mean you enslave people? <laughs> okay, we don't like this at all, apparently, but I mean, they are gnolls, but still, like, it's, they, that's not okay, you know? Like, yeah, I'd have to kill the gnoll if it wasn't, you know, chilling, but, like, still weird. Uh, you mean, that's gonna, like, get me out, like, maybe, you know, uh, what is it, like, call me out. Let's try. You Their like, will has always been hers to command. I am simply putting it back where it belongs. Behold, Try to do that to me, I'll break oh, your arms. Sweetie, come show what a good boy you are. Oh my gosh. Could I like break the bond and have it eat her? What would you like him to do? What? Keep your sick games to yourself. Oh, as you wish. A little advice. Should you seek an audience with her, steal yourself. Yeah. To be remade, we must be willing to suffer. We must make this audience sound dangerous. You ascend the tower as a true soul, and return as something more. So you're something... If you return at all. So you're something else, then? You've been given a gift? I do wonder if I could break the will thing. Okay, I can't steal any of your stuff. That's fine, acceptable. What's in here? Ooh, yucky. Ooh, yucky. Ooh, what is that? I don't like that. Loveless pygmy water. This is a maze. Uh, no, we are taking the outer. Seems simple enough. Outer path. Okay. Perfect. There's it sounds like there's like a scientist y person going on in there. Kitty, I see a kitty. We must speak. Oh, 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 I need. Um Kitty time. Steel Claw. Somebody, somebody read Warrior Cats as a kid on the dev team. These are the stalking grounds of Steel Claw, Furless One. Tread lightly. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention. For now. <laughs> Unless you're like something else besides a house cat. Um... Oh, Slithering Vermin, they're called tadpoles? 
Your name is Steelclaw. It is a name I earned through bloodshed and death. Unfortunately, the more ignorant here refuse to use it. Fluffers, they call me. Fluffers. Idiots. When you're a naked mole rat cat. Uh, Slytherin vermin. They're, uh, they're dangerous? I kind of want to say be, they're dangerous. Do not push your own cowardice upon me. I braved lapping waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many and will butcher many more. But this one, this one I toy with. Oh, yeah? I slice, I tear, and when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards. It's not that big. You're a little bit intense. Um, good luck with. I don't want to, like, antagonize the cat, you know? Um. You're a little bit intense. I you simply do not understand the hunt. True joy is the feel of screaming flesh beneath your fangs. Now I must return to my prey. It has been too long since it felt the bite of fear. Is, are you playing with a dead tadpole right now? She is. Mutual respect. I did not think that was mutual respect, but... Oh, here it is. It's too bad I don't have freaking Carlac with me. What the heck? Meet the tadpole hunting camp. Okay. Well. Uh, sleeping? Oh my gosh, I got it sleeping. What a baby. Um. Well, apparently there's stuff to fire. I'm like, oh, I'll just do the outer, like, outer bailey. Like, you know, but. Rescue the tieflings and the hidden treasures over here. Okay, so are we taking the back entrance? Oh, hang on. Oh, is it? A cracked wall. Hmm, let's see. Let me hit it. Oh, first I should switch to my bludgeoning weapon. Where did it go? Back to the sword. And... Stop. Scroll of banishment. Cool. Okay, quick save. Oop, that's the wrong button. Quick save before the door again. Okay, so they've got all kinds of people in here. You'd find better lodgings out in the war camp, Trousseau. I know we're all one under the absolute, but you do not want to bunk with an ogre. Uh, no, I don't. Hush. Meat sounds above. Here. Like what kind? Alive, dead. For a moment, oh. you do hear it. Flesh sliding on stone, like a living being extending through the wall. I don't like that at all. What is that? Pig in walls above. Maybe hold. Is there a snake in the wall? Lotus near kitchen, but me banned. Not allowed to pet nose. Yeah. Probably broke them. You find meat? You share. You want to eat whatever is sliding through the walls. I, I mean, they probably eat anything, really. Uh, okay, well, good to know that there's stuff that's horrible. 